Stay tuned as this week as I take this old beat up table and show you how to update it into a more modern and sleek fashion. We're going to show you here how to make some very, very, very easy and common repairs on tables and how to do this the best way possible. And because this table has so many layers of paint on it, I am going, I've taken the top off and now we've got the, the base turned upside down and I'm actually going to take all the legs off so we can get a good sanded on the legs and it not be so much paint clogged up in the corners here. And here on the top of the table, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use stripper to get this paint stripped off. We want a completely smooth finish. On the bottom part, we can definitely just sand it off really good and get a smooth finish there. But for the top of the table, we want it to be absolutely perfect. And that is what we're starting to do here is by stripping it, all this old paint off so much quicker than trying to sand it all off. And one thing that we learned as we were stripping here is that the top of this table is definitely a laminate top. So we're going to have to be careful when we start putting paint down on it. Now you can see here one of the main issues that we had with this table is the edge banding was coming off in areas. And instead of trying to fill it with something like Bondo or some kind of filler because there was so much... Uh, coming off I went and just pulled every bit of it off and actually I'm gonna go back and start replacing it with some more edge banding and you can see in this one little area here the edge banding came off and somebody just painted over it with white to try to hide it and now here we are going to put the edge banding on and I want to make sure that you get it on um, you know right and all you do here really is this is pre-glued on the other side so you just use a hot iron to get it to glue on appropriately um, so that's how we started here with this and I'll leave a link in the description below for what we what we used here and you can go and try to do it yourself So after you get the banding ironed on, while it is still drying, you want to get something, and I've got a laminate roller here, but you really can use almost anything like a credit card or something and just try to make it, you know, adhere as best as possible to the side of the table. And then you're going to start and come over with a edge banding cutter and trim off the overlap of the edge. Um, not all the time can you find something that is perfectly the same size as your trim so that's why I couldn't find any this time so we went to cut it with this edge banding to make it nice and smooth on the edge. We're going to go back and start taking care of the base and we're going to start by cleaning it and getting all the junk and grime off of it and then we're going to go after cleaning the base here we're going to go into giving it a really good sanding we're not going to worry as much about sanding every little bit on it um, in the meantime, there was one little spot here on the um, on the edge trimming that did not go very well, so I put a little bondo on it. Uh, but for the most part, the edge banding made a major difference. We have it all sanded down. We are going to move into priming, and this is a black primer to start with, and it just absolutely is a major change to this piece.
And now that we are finishing up getting the black primer and paint on, the customer wanted this in a semi-gloss finish, so I am putting on a semi-gloss top coat here to match exactly what they want. And wow is all I got to say about it, is how incredible it changed this piece and made it look so much more modern than what it did before. While this table needed a lot of repairs and looked really damaged off the start, after cleaning it up and painting it black, really knocked it out of the park on being a brand new piece. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. Please hit the subscribe button and like the video. And stay tuned for more furniture DIY.